We all know those nerds who have those custom screenshot embeds, and how do they do that? Well, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way of getting it done. To start off, you need ShareX, which is the screen capture tool thing that I looked at before, so that means I get to gloss over it real quick. That's in the first link of the description. Download it and open up the installer and install that bad boy. But while we're waiting for the installer to pop up, never mind, I got cut off every single time. Just I accept the license agreement, click next, next, install, boom, it's probably already done finish we have sharex all ready to go we need to go to the second link in the description and go to says and you may or may not see this beautiful lady at the start that's all up to your advertising ui revenue dollar thing click create new subdomain so in this case you want to click private and you want to select a subdomain so there is a lot of subdomains so i am going to pick something pretty funny so I'm going to pick this, and TTS is a verg.in, and I'm going to click I am not a robot and click submit, and we will submit our own thing. Now you'll get this little token thing, and you'll get a .sxcu file. Just click on the .sxcu file, and that is actually the sharex thing file. Just click on that and it'll open up and it'll say, would you like to set as the act of whatever? Just press yes. It's that easy. And now what will happen is that when you capture using ShareX, it will get this picture, upload it to the server and give you the link. But we need to make sure that's set up. So after capture tasks, we need to not copy the image to the clipboard and you could save image to file if you want. I'm going to uncheck that because I want this to only be a send it to the server and give me the link and nothing else. So I'm going to uncheck save image to file. And after upload tasks, I want to copy the URL to clipboard. Now, like I said in the last video, I don't have a print screen button, so I need to go to hotkey settings and I need to change the hotkey for capture region to something I can use. I'm going to do control home. And when I do that, I'm going to exit off of it. And now control home screenshot this i get it it says are you sure you want to upload this screenshot press no to cancel the current upload and disable screenshot auto uploading i'm going to press yes and now it will upload and it'll be in my clipboard if everything goes well so if i go to the doug dimadome dimsdale dim 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 dimadome and i paste it in kaboom I now have my image. Now, a lot of people want to have a super cool embed when they send a screenshot. That's kind of the main point of this whole thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You need to go back to the second link in the description and you will see this little section. If you scroll down, it will say example. You want to copy this example code. Then you want to press the Windows key and type in notepad and press enter. And it'll open up with this untitled notepad. You want to paste in the code and now we want to modify it. Now, modifying this code is very easy. If we go back to the second link in the description and we click on, and this is how it looks in Discord, it'll give us a little template on what each thing does. So color is going to be the color of the embed bar, title is going to be the title of the embed, and description will be the little text underneath it. So to start off, I want to change the color. So go to Google and go to the color picker, pick a color that you want, then copy the hex code here, and you need to replace the color in here with the hex code that you picked. Next up, you need to change the title. So once again, title is going to be this, and I want it to be like, this is a title. Then for the description, I want it to say a cool description. There we go, perfect and sarcastic. And we are almost done. All we need to do is just condense this into one line. So go to the bottom curly brace here, press backspace, then go to the quotation mark here, press backspace a whole bunch of times until it goes to the other line, and do that a whole bunch of times until all this code is in a single line. Then once it's in a single line, press Control and A, then Control and C to copy it. Go into ShareX, then you want to go to Destinations, Custom Uploader Settings, and yours will look like this. All you want to do is in this name section here, we need to go back to the second link of the description, we need to copy the name OG underscore properties. So OG underscore properties. Then when we do that, we need to paste in the code in the value section. Once you paste it in, and all you need to do is press the X button. Then once you set those settings, you just need to find something you want to take a screenshot of and keep forever. So in this case, I want to keep my handsome man right here and I'm going to select it. It's going to take a screenshot. And now in my clipboard, if I go to my Discord server and paste it in, boom, look, this is a title, a cool description if you are unoriginal and kaboom, it's done. We didn't need no stupid invite code. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you wanna support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. 
Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Anyways, let's say you want to get rid of all this fancy dancy stuff. Well, all you could do is just stop using the screenshots. It's that easy. Just stop using ShareX. Now, if you keep on wanting to use ShareX, then all you need to do is click after capture tasks and uncheck upload image to host. Then you want to check copy image to clipboard. And now if you set a screenshot of anything, it will be in your clipboard. And if you paste it into Discord, it will be a normal screenshot. So that's how you unhook the upload thing. Now, if you don't want ShareX anymore, it's just click on the start menu, type in add or remove programs, press enter, search for ShareX. Then once you find ShareX, click on it, click on install, then click on install, then press yes, then press yes, then press yes. Oh my gosh, a lot of yeses, then press okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go style my hair with R134A. Wish me a fantastic time doing that, please. I love you. Mwah.